Hey everyone, this is Yan from Devolutions with this week's Remote Desktop Manager Pro Tip. As an IT professional, many times we have daily tasks that seem to be very repetitive. That's why in Remote Desktop Manager, we created playlist actions to help you get your job done quicker. So in Remote Desktop Manager, to create a playlist, go into the edit section, and then you'll notice a playlist button here. And you can either say new, add selection to existing playlist if you have some uh, sessions selected already, and also playlist management. Now, let me go to playlist management to show you a couple things first. So playlist management is where all your playlists are stored. You can have local playlists that are stored locally on the computer and not in the vault. So you can only view them and open them from, from playlist management. There's shared playlists, which can be shared amongst the users. And there's also a user vault, which can be accessed from anywhere you have access to that vault. So I'm going to go ahead and create a shared playlist. I'm going to click new, and then I'm going to call this daily playlist. So this is my playlist that I run every single day. And I want to share it with my coworkers in case I'm not there and they have to do the same actions that I do every day as well. So I'm going to go into the connections tab. Here's where I can select the different actions that I want to run every morning. So for example, I've got a couple servers, a couple SSH connections I want to open. I also open, I want to open up a web page that I have access to, and I want to open up a couple uh, RDP sessions as well. So I selected these ones. I'm going to click OK. You can even select the order if you want. So you could say, you know what? I need to open up the website first, then my SSH, and then my RDP sessions after that. And then now I have my daily playlist. I can actually run it here by clicking open, or it'll also be available here in my vault. So I'm going to click open selection. We'll see what happens. Now, obviously here, the browser window is going to be opening up first, uh, followed by the SSH connections, and finally my RDP sessions as well. If I want to edit this again, I can click on properties, and then go back to connections and add or remove as needed. So it's very, very simple to do. Now, these playlists can only access sessions that are in the current vault. Now, for more information, you can actually refer to our playlist actions uh, help article here, and I'll put a link of it in the video below. And it gives you a little bit more information about what you can do and how you can perform these actions in playlists. As you can see, though, playlists can be very handy, very useful, and help you save time using Remote Desktop Manager. And saving time is always a good thing. If you like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so that you can be updated on when these videos come out. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thanks. Bye.